Well, Richie, thanks for joining us. Were there lessons to be learned this afternoon? Um, I think if you look at the whole game, I'm quite happy with a point because we didn't play well from the first minute. Um, we was off it. But I think the biggest disappointment today was our body language. Um, we're winning 2 0 with more or less a 90 minutes are up. And um, we don't organise from a set play. We're really slow. The ball's been out of, out of play for 20 seconds. Um, and you're playing against a club that is desperate for the, you know, the fight for the lives at the bottom of the league. So they sprint to get the corner and we're not marking right and we allow someone to get across the front of us. Um, and then the second goal, we kick it down the middle of the pitch when we've got no physical presence there against three centre-backs. Um, we then pick up the second ball, but when we can chest it and play or put it in an area that where, where they can't put it straight back on us because the pitch is poor, the pitch is... No, it's really difficult. I'm, I'm having a go at players sometimes to be better, but um, <clears throat> it's a really difficult, difficult pitch to play. Very boggy, and and sometimes it bounces firm, and but a lot of the time it bounces, it just takes the, the weight out of it. Um, they then play it long, and um, one of my centre backs vacates his his his, um, his area. They exploit that, and then Chilvers has got the ball. It's a good finish, but just slow down, be, be patient. You defend him, let him let him pass it outside to the right wing back. And if he does that, then I think we, we win the game, but we, we get too excited. We overcommit, he chops back inside, and then when, when he chops inside, it's a difficult for Viggs because he doesn't know if he's going to go left or right, and it's a, he's a good player, he's a good finish by the lad. And it started so well, I mean, taking the lead from the penalty, another no, one from George we didn't, George. We didn't play well. We did not play well. He's going to, let's not get kid. I'm, I'm always performance-based, um, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm a realist. You know, when we play well, I'll tell you that we play well. We didn't play well today. So in the, in the whole, happy with a point because we didn't play well. You can kid people that we went 2-0 up. But, um, you know, Ruel was good and sharp at times. But apart from that, too many, too many, too many bad decisions from players that you know, are experienced and, and know the game. And, and it's fine. We've had two weeks, left, two weeks off. And probably we felt that little bit of legginess, not quite our sharpest. Um, so hopefully that's blown the cobwebs off now and we can go next week. Is that why you made the substitutes that you did in the second yeah, I just half? Think we, look, we look tired, <coughs> and they're obviously um, when when we go two down, they're leaving two up, and I want to try and get some control of the game. And instead, it's just like a game of basketball, which is we don't need. We're two up. We don't need that. Um, so I thought that the subs would come on and give us more legs, more energy, um, but the subs actually had an adverse effect in our performance. So what was the reaction in the changing room afterwards? We're eight unbeaten. Oh, listen, you can... It's, it's a long season and I've tried to be consistent in everything to say, don't get... I, I walk around the supporters and, and a lot of them are doing that. Keep your head up. We're in a brilliant position. I wouldn't swap our position for anybody, so I'm definitely going to keep my head up. Um, it's important now that we don't get too disappointed. It's two points dropped away. But we've had... Um, we've had games this, this year where we've just held on and maybe not deserved the two points extra so it evens itself out it was, we didn't play great but um, I'm, I'm kind of happy with the point, I would have obviously loved, loved three points but um, I think he, I think the most important thing was rate unbeaten now and we're a tough team to beat And it's such a competitive division uh, Quali won today and of course Hartlepool picked up results recently and it's up to the North East next week yeah, um, I actually watched that game because <coughs> that was a one o'clock kickoff. Very open, very expansive. Um, and Carlisle, you know, with a previous player that, that was here in Dan Kemp, played really well and des deserved the point. At times, he could have made more chances against Bradford and and um, and actually took the three points. But Bradford a threat, and Andy Cook scored two, and um, obviously he's a, the highest goal scorer in the league. But um, I'd rather concentrate on us, and so we'll go there hopefully. We need to give this pitch a rest because um, it's just we're asking players to, to do things that the, the pitch doesn't allow us to do or allow the players to. And I feel I feel for them a little bit at times. And will Theo Archibald be available? Do you think for the trip to Hartlepool? Um, we're not sure. We're going to get him um, rescanned. We'll probably have um, an opinion on that probably Tuesday, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Theo's quite a freak in terms of he hasn't got an ACL. Okay. He's not got a brain cell. Well, he has a little bit. Well, he'll have you believe that he hasn't. Um, but we, we miss Fio's energy at times. But it seems a performance where we could have won the game. And when we play like we play, we look good. But we just didn't do it often enough.
And their turns won't be available for Hartley because of international duty, is that correct? Well, we've had, we're, we're going to have a conversation with them because we feel that <coughs> for Ed to leave and, and go and play against Colombia under-20s at a training pitch in Spain, how is that going to help his development? If he's a qualifier, then I, I get it. I get it. It'll be, it'll be a good experience for him. But um, I think it's important he stays and he goes through what we're going through. And, you know, he's always at risk. If he does go on and somebody comes in and plays really well, then obviously he might not get his place back. So um, we'll have a conversation with Wales and hopefully we should know the answer about that on Monday. And Jamie McCart, would he be available? He's back trained a week. We've got a friendly against Southend on Tuesday. Um, Ed will play in that. Duke McKenna will play in that. Um, Jordan Brown will play in that. Um, you know, Adam Thompson will play in that. Shad will play in that. So we just need to get to get 90 minutes in some of them, so just to just to top them up in, in terms of minutes.